Oops. It's colder out here than I thought. Yesterday it was so hot. It was like it was like 30 degrees, and now today we're, we're down to like what are we? What is it? 17 degrees. 17 degrees right now. I'm gonna, let me just go double check. I have a emergency uh, jumper in the car. I keep I keep these emergency jumpers and clothes in my car because you never know when you need, might need them. Emergency pack. It's uh, in a GoPro bag because I, I mean, I'm not gonna use this bag for anything else. It's a nice like sack sort of thing. So uh, you just throw in a shirt, jumper. Oh, what jumper is this? It's a fire jumper. Nice. Cool. Emergency clothing still available. The issue is, is that once I use it, I forget to put it back in. And actually, I forgot to go get the shirt that I took out. And I was just on the back of a thing. So I might go get that now. <laughs> Logging makes everything harder. Bam, locked up. Got the new lens on, which is really nice. I just, I'm really happy, really excited. Really excited about this lens. Don't fall. So it is currently 9.50, and I'm getting a tattoo at 11. I'm not gonna be, I'm not late this time, you know, thank goodness, but I'm still like, ah, kind of wanted to, Film more in the city before going in for the tattoo, but you know, I'm too late to go film in the city, so I might have to do that after. But I've got a meeting at 1.30 and it's, it's, it's a whole thing like life is difficult, okay? Just leave leave me alone. The switchboard is so much better than the gorilla pod because you don't need the tripod thread, you don't need a plate, you just unscrew it, you're done. Put that in the back seat. 360 defender case that goes straight onto the ND filter, so you still have a a cap, if you will, a protection cap, you know, like nice hard case to go onto your ND. So I'm gonna just drive into the city and hopefully, hopefully have time to like film a little bit of B-roll before having to head in. going for my last two tattoos we're gonna get a third one today it's gonna be fun I have this like glaringly obvious patch here between the camera and the rest of them okay, where cool. I thought we could fill that area in every time I look in the mirror I'm like oh, there's something missing oh ha. yes that's cool that's good I was actually thinking the exact same thing yeah I, 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 I can't draw this I can't draw yeah yeah, is it possible to get it there or is that going to be a weird spot, do you no, think? I think it'll work, man. Yeah? Yeah, I think it'll be cool. You've got enough uh, paper towels, mate. I might want to get some more. Yeah, that really does fill in the gap, and then we just need to get the rest of the arm done, but that comes later. Good job, mate. Cheers, bro. What? Tattoo looks great. It's awesome. I didn't even see that, but. It's cool. It's my camel bag 2021. I love these videos. I could watch them all day. I could make them all day. These videos just mm, make me feel so good inside. Anyway, 
check it out. Uh, is this overkill? I don't know if this is overkill. It's like the most high-end production I've ever made for just a YouTube video. I've boomed my microphone. There's a three-point light setup. It's just, it's, it's popping off. Uh, so stay tuned for that video coming out shortly. Hopefully today. Hopefully. If not today, tomorrow. Just stay tuned. Go subscribe, actually. Subscribe. And follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Follow me. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest. Never ended up making that video. But here we are today, four years later. We're doing what's in my camera bag, 2024. And this time we're actually doing it. So here we go, roll the intro. I get this off my back. Here we go. This is my camera bag of choice. It has changed like three times since I first filmed that Instagram video. But uh, this is the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Everyday Camera Bag just because, you know, it's, it's, it's everyday stuff. Like, I don't need to pack everything into it. I'm not shooting weddings every single day. I'm not traveling every single day. I have other bags and other backpacks, and I will do a video on those. Probably a bit more professionally next time instead of just in my mate's yard in a kimono kneeling at a coffee table. But this is the video you're getting for now. So this is the everyday camera bag. I love it because of how modular it is. And you'll see that on the inside when I open the bag. But at the very top, there's like almost nothing. I keep like my sunglasses, lens hood. I can sometimes, depending on the jumper, fit a small jumper in if it gets cold, gets warm. Uh, but in the top pocket, like this very top pocket, I keep things like Nurofen because I'm old and I get, you know, you get headaches and you're like, ah, that really sucks. Adapter for the iPad or the MacBook just because you need it. I try to keep cash on me, so I have just cash loose in here. This is like a really good video. This is why you should mug me. Look, look what's in my bag. Look what I'm carrying around with me every single day. Um, and then yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, wait, hold on. Found one more thing. Apple AirTag. I can track the bag. Whoever mugs me and steals this bag, it's got, it's, that's the first thing they're getting rid of. They're going to be like, oh, he can track this. I'll just get rid of it. And that's that. You've stolen my bag. Good job. <laughs> So in this side pocket, in this, it's got two side pockets, I keep the Apple MagSafe battery bank. So if I need to charge my phone, it just magnetizes to the back and it charges the phone. Super simple, real easy. That's just, it's so small, so light. Tempted to get multiple, but I've never needed it more than once. I, uh, my phone might die, let's say, you know, heavy phone usage gets to 20% at like, I know, at the worst, 4 p.m. Uh, that can get me through to 9 p.m. and then beyond. And then, you know, ideally, I go home or go to a place that has a charger and I just charge both of them up at the same time. God, the sun just came out. It's going to get sunny. Is this a look? This is a solid look. Like, ugh, let's move this out of the way. Like, I know it's a video about this bag and what's in it, but let's just appreciate the look. What's even better is I'm wearing jeans underneath, so. <laughs> Real professional V-pop, real professional. In the other side, we have the DJI Osmo Action. I love this action cam because of the, again, how modular it is. I have the necklace, the magnetic necklace, so you can stick it right on your chest and have a, like a almost first person view. But it's also just really good for vlogging if I don't want to take out the big camera. It's small, line up, you can fit it in your pocket. The image stabilization, the image quality, the image quality isn't actually there, especially when you compare it to like the R6 or the R5 or any mirrorless DSLR camera. But again, you're compromising. Those are big cameras. I don't want a big camera all the time, so this is a great little action cam right here. I feel like I should have been putting everything out on the table just because that's that's what we have it here for. So whoop. Let's get round to the two things on the side. Water bottle of choice. This is a Ringo water bottle. You know what's really cool about this water bottle? Apart from the fact it holds water. Bam. Tripod for the phone. Vpop, why do you use that? I sometimes use it for FaceTime calls or using it as like a tripod to film myself. Instagram, YouTube, like small things. Just when I'm like, ah, I need a tripod, something, something. And instead of having to lean it up, against the water bottle like that, it magnetizes so you've got like a slightly higher vantage point. Anyway, it's also a water bottle, so benefit number two. On the other side, we have the Switch Pod. This is my favorite uh, mini tripod for vlogging because it was designed to have that ergonomic handle and mount and face your camera in the exact right position when you're vlogging. And then when you want to activate it, 
it goes out just like that. Super easy. The cleanup is nice. Love the cleanup. And it's super slim, it's super light. It's much better than a Gorilla Pod, in my opinion. I mean, who wouldn't want one of these? Plus, if I ever get into a kerfuffle, it's, you know, you know, you, you, you grab, grab that handle and you're like, come at me, come at me! Will not end well for anyone. But that's my tripod of choice. We're blitzing through this. How long's on, how long have we been going for? Let's look at the top. Like top left, top right. Nine minutes, 17. Oh, nine minutes, not too bad. In the laptop slot. Yes, I have a 16 inch MacBook, but I don't like carrying it around because it's heavy, it's big, it's cumbersome. So I actually carry the iPad mini. Why the iPad mini? It was small, it was light, and I just, I love the iPad mini. I wanted to get the new iPhone like 14 mini, but they didn't do a 14 mini. So I was stuck with the 14 Pro. I went, yeah, screw it. I guess I'll just get the Pro and still smaller than the 12 plus I had or whatever it was. Uh, but I love the iPad mini. Use it for YouTube, use it for writing up invoices, writing up scripts, even though it's like a much smaller iPad. I used to have the iPad biggie, like the, the 12, 12.9 inch one, but that one was also just way too big and I, I think I'm like going through a phase where I'm just downsizing everything. iPad mini. All right, getting to the bag itself and the contents within the bag. What's really great about this bag is it's a very small thing, but the straps, they're on the back lid. They're on the back lid. So other camera bags, the, the straps are attached to the outside of the bag and you gotta, you know, move the flaps, get them out of the way. This one is just, it opens up, you see everything. Sound effects not included. On the very top, you got the filter pouch. This is a very slim filter pouch. It only fits three filters, but that's okay because the other ND filters are put on the side. I carry a circular polarizing filter because you need it. And then two mist filters because again, you need it. Super fast, super simple. Filter pouch with filters in it. Let's get to the fun stuff. Camera of choice, Canon R5. I literally bought this like two weeks ago. My lens of choice is usually the 14 to 35, but for explanation's sake, this is the 24 to 105 because I'm currently filming with the 14 to 35 on the R6. That's it. That's, that's all I really need to say. It's for those, those who know what this camera is, they know what the R5 is. They know that it's a like, great camera, 45 megapixels, super high res sensor, 8K video, which I never use by the way. I just think 8K is super overkill. Takes to the CF Express card and SD, and I do have backups of those just in case. So R5, 14 to 35, camera, lens of choice, comes with me everywhere. It's also great that's a small camera, like it's, all things considered, it's relatively small. Microphone that comes with me every single day. I'm actually using like a much bigger <laughs> microphone right now because you need to capture audio somehow. But this is the Rode Video Micro. And again, I love it so much because it's so small and it just fits in that little pocket there. Audio quality from this is phenomenal. It's no Rode Video Mic Pro, it's no Rode Video Mic NTG, but you know, for the price, for the size and the weight and savings, it's a really great mic. My supporting lenses, uh, the reason why I never made the 2021 video is because I had like 15 lenses on me at any time, which is like just too many. Now I've only got the three lenses. So I've got the 70 to 200 because it's just a magic lens for portraits, for B-roll, freshen, getting that nice isolated look. I love the new 70 to 200, the RF 70 to 200, because it's, it's a lot smaller, it's a lot lighter. The old 70 to 200 was like constantly this size and you try to fit that in the bag, you can, but it takes up all this room. Where would I put the mic? I'd have to like ditch the second camera or something else, make room, but I love that this now just go compact, super small, super light, and go straight down into the bag. It fits in almost any, any bag actually, which is really nice. I'm running out of room. Third lens of choice, this is the Sigma 50mm 1.4. So if I'm doing anything that requires that low light capability of the lens, I just, I bust out the 50 because it's got that compression, but it's still wide enough where you can probably take some decent landscape photos. Uh, but again, 14 to 35, super wide landscape. That's, that's, that's it. That's, that's a great lens. Love this lens. Use it for portraits, use it for, again, pretty much everything. Anything I'm not using the 70 to 200 for. So that's, those three lenses, I think, is a really good versatile mix. If I need wide, I go 14 to 35 uh, for vlogging landscape if i need to punch into 35 i can punch into 35 if i'm going the other end need to reach out grab that image grab that portrait grab that b-roll isolate the background 70 to 200 and at night you got the 50 mil which is phenomenal people uh, rave about the f28 lenses and my issue with the f28 lenses is that that 82 mil filter diameter the f28 70 to 200 is 77 the 24 to 105 is 77 the 14 to 35 is 77 the 50 mil is 77 mil filter thread so i don't need to use any stepping rings and that way i can just buy the one well two 
but the one size ND filter, circular polarizer, mist filter, and use it across so many of my lenses without having to use a stepping ring. This is the Peter McKinnon Polar Pro available ND with mist built in. I actually had this before the mist filter and I love the mist look that this gave me that I went out and bought mist filters themselves. These are great filters too, by the way, if you're ever considering like buying available ND. Because they split it up into a two to five range stop and a six to nine range stop, you don't get that cross vignetting you get with some cheaper available NDs. So this is a great available ND plus the Defender hard case 360. I dropped this at a wedding once, but it was okay because it's in a hard case and it, it, it was fine. I keep a Peak Design camera strap and I use the Peak Design ones because of the quick the quick clips you have. So if you want to use the strap, you've got the strap here. It's adjustable, a lot easier to adjust and tighten than the camera strap that came with your camera. Plus, because I shoot a lot of video and I use a gimbal and I don't want it all the time, you can take it off in like two seconds and you don't even think about it. Peak Design camel strap. And the last little thing I keep in the camera bag is the Fujifilm X100F. This is just a great street photography camera. Actually, I hate this camera. Like every millennial, I don't even know if it's a millennial. What's our generation? Gen Z? Every Gen Zer, every Zoomer wants the X100F just because the internet has told them. And here I am on the internet telling you how great of a camera this is. But I'm a photographer, so it's different. <laughs> That's gonna cap caught me some flack. But you know, this is a great camera and I do recommend it if you can get your hands on it. This is the F. Uh, something I don't like the X1, about the X100V is that they got rid of these four buttons, which really annoys me because I use these four buttons to program in my custom presets, the film presets and white balance presets. It's just a lot faster. So X100F, because it's a lot smaller than the R5, it's also, you know, nowhere near the same quality, but, you know, for a small camera, it's all about compromise. You gotta compromise in certain areas. Do you want a big, bulky camera and with all the quality, image quality? Then you're gonna have to go with like a full frame mirrorless camera. If you want a smaller, compact camera that doesn't have the same, same image quality, it's a lot smaller. You, you pick, pick your tool, pick your weapon of choice. I carry two spare batteries for the R5 or R6 or whatever camera I decide to take on the day, just because that means I have three fully charged batteries for the day and I don't see myself ever using more than three batteries. If you're getting through three batteries, I mean, that's, that's impressive. But I never see myself going through more than three batteries. I have one spare battery for the X100F just because, again, it's not my primary camera. It's just my backup fun camera I want to use. So I only have one battery for that, two for the R5. That is making me nervous. Is that making you nervous? No? James is over here going, nah, it's not my expensive camera lenses. This little pouch here, Rode Wireless Go. Now what's great about the Rode Wireless Go is that the wireless microphone. You don't need to have a lapel and sometimes I just want to clip this on. Those birds make it really hard to film. Sometimes you just want to lapel yourself up with the wireless Go, be able to walk a bit further around than the video micro would allow. There you go, leave in the bag just in case. I don't use them often, but if I ever need them, they're there. And then we've got the super hard rugged case for my uh, SD cards and CF Express. I am, I've ordered a 512 Angel Bird one because apparently pro grade cards aren't fast enough to do 4K 100 frames a second. I don't know why, I can't explain it. Uh, the 1300 megabytes read speed, so they should be fast enough, but for some reason, they're not fast enough. And that's pretty much everything I carry in my camera bag if I'm going out to film vlogs, go out, take photos, just I'm going out anywhere and I wanna have my camera. Again, because this, this is the nomadic everyday bag, you can make that smaller, put in the one camera cube, put just the camera in, maybe a supporting lens or just a microphone. It's very versatile and that's what I love about this camera bag. And it's the camera bag I've been using for a little over a year now, so that's really cool. Uh, and the best part about all of this is that it's actually quite compact for the most part. Like again, the other video, oh, so much gear. I just had everything. I've, I've tried to pick, pack everything in, but now I've got my, got a system. I've got what works and it's super easy just to pack all up. It's a really nice, really nice kit in my opinion. It's funny because I'm actually going to get everything out, lay it down, take a nice thumbnail shot. But... <laughs> oh, I finally did it. Finally finished one of these videos. Watch me have to change it next year because everything would have changed. That's it for me guys. Have a good morning, evening, night. Peter, I hope you're watching. Loud, loud, I wanna clarify. My friend Peter Loud. He, he, I, he, I sent him one of my last videos and he said, I've gotta get back to watching it. And I'm like, mate, I'm gonna start making YouTube videos again this year. Get on top of it.
See you in the next one. And it's gonna be in the Christmas special. Oh yes, there is a Christmas special coming out. Everyone online is going, what? <laughs> what are they talking about? <laughs>